Yes, for low temperatures in Riverside. And it wound up where the school district... Bam! Video log is spectacular. Hey guys, it's been a good first week. It's October 22nd, Saturday, exactly one month that my class has been in session. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro because it's about the best thing that you're going to get out of me today. Um, and this is where I slept last night. Temperatures were relatively low in Riverside this week, um, so I thought I'd include that. Although, I walked to Denny's this morning and not so much. So one of these days you guys are going to get to meet my roommates. But for now, all you know is that their names are Chad and Nacho. And Nacho is going to get the best roommate award in the history of the world and possibly get, be the first person to be living and canonized in the Catholic Church. And Chad is the roommate who had five of his friends over last night and we all went out and I had to surrender my bed to some of them. I'm not complaining, I was a part of the decision-making process and who ended up in the bed, but it's just an explanation for why I sound like I'm already on the other side of the grave. I had to do something to get ready for Halloween, because otherwise I'm not that scary. So yeah, a shout out to everyone from La Quinta. You guys were awesome to party with, even though I'm sure you'll never watch this vlog. You're in luck, guys. I've decided I'm no longer going to use this vlog as a soapbox from which to spout my anger at the fact that I don't have a camera. Life is about finding the upsides. That's why instead, I'm just going to use my old laptop camera to do things that I would otherwise have done with my flip minnow. Seriously though, guys, I don't know what I'm going to do for Halloween. I have a few costumes that are theoretically in the works, but really nothing actionable at this point, including Melissa's idea from a while back, which I haven't given up on yet, Melissa, but we have to be practical. I'm not a magician. I can't just make giant bras appear. Also, as an aside, in the off chance that anyone has been trying to text me in the past week, um, I have no idea where my phone is, and I think I'm going to go buy a new one today. So, I haven't been ignoring you, but, you know, honestly, I probably wouldn't have responded anyway. I'm sorry. It's just, we have to face facts. I'm curious if you guys are having midterms about now, because I am. I just took my first midterm ever last week, and it was pretty easy. It was in computer science, so it was kind of just like knocking down pins really easy pins to knock down I don't know why I did that I'm bowling is actually really hard and this week I have my history midterm coming up which I'm a little bit nervous about I, have to, I still have to finish Vermeer's hat which is a pretty interesting book if you guys are into it if you guys are into it if you guys ever find that and pick it up I would recommend it it's it's an interesting concept and it's I think it's pretty well written uh, for a book that's just about history. Which reminds me, when I said that I thought we should do a book club, I don't know why I said book club. I mean, the word passed into my mind and I said it, even though what I had in mind for us to do is actually in no way the same thing as a book club. A book club implies that we're all going to get together and read the same book at the same time and then get together and discuss it. Really all I wanted was for you guys to tell me uh, a list of books that I should read. Good books. And then, when I have time, I'll draw from that list and read and become more informed and well-learned. And I know what you're all saying. Just go to Katie Giblin's goodreads.com thing, and she's got everything ever in it, and it's all things that are way over my head, and would definitely make me more versed in everything. But I'm not Katie Giblin. I don't just have a sponge brain for culture and things. I have a simple brain, a simple childish brain. And I need to be told things from people who are more childish than Katie Giblin, which is not an insult towards any of you guys. It's like saying you're more evil than Gandhi. It's just, I mean, 
there's a lot of room still. Venue change. Back to what I was saying. Yeah, I just took a midterm and I was really sick. And it sucked. And then I have the midterm coming up in history, which the other day I was in history lecture and it occurred to me and I was wondering what you guys thought about this. The only big difference I see between my world history class that I'm taking right now, which is called, uh, it's, it's history from 1500 to 1900. And we're covering a lot of the same things that we did in AP world history. And so far, the biggest difference I've noticed between Professor Reed's class and Miss Yelmervik's class is Professor Reed knows how to pronounce everything. Seriously, Ingrid, you've been teaching that class for like 20 years and you don't know how to say... Well, I can't pronounce it either. But the point is, Professor Justin Reed can. And he is probably old enough to be about your son. So, I, just, I don't know. I don't know where that leaves us. In response to Melissa, um, so far I haven't gotten in a lot of rock, paper, scissor battles here. I'll have to now to see. I have run into a little bit of the NorCal, SoCal, HECA, what the F, did you just say HECA, I'm gonna kill you thing, but um, not super a lot. As you know, we barely say HECA or HELA even really from where we live compared to like people who are actually from the Bay Area and like there's a kid in my hall who's from Tracy who says hella way more than I ever do and he accordingly gets the brunt of the beatings from the SoCal kids for it. So that's good. Thanks Taylor for taking the pressure off me. So far the receipt project has been going okay. Um, I'm really hoping for some awesome suggestions from viewers slash vlog members. This is me so far. Um, that doesn't look super impressive, but I found a few useful things to do with it, like studying for a world geography quiz, planning what I'm going to say to everyone who gave me graduation money who I haven't sent thank yous to yet. Sorry, it's all explained in the note leaving thank you notes to my roommates when they do awesome things for me. It was kind of hard to see, but there was a little bit of lipstick at the bottom where Bobby tried to kiss it, but failed terribly. Making bookmarks. That probably doesn't make sense to, well, pretty much anybody. It's based on something a professor said in my creative writing class, but even she probably wouldn't get it because itself it's a mixed metaphor. But I think it would make a cool tattoo. Also, this is a fun game, even though I'm generally against fun games, and I think it might help our weird book club situation out. I'm just curious, what's the last thing everybody in our vlog has read? So like for me, well I guess the last thing I actually read all the way through was Paper Towns. Um, I'm in the midst of reading Vermeer's Hat. Good or bad, whether you would actually recommend it or not, just, you know, whether it's a book or like a magazine or like a sugar packet ingredient thing which would be sugar what is the last thing you guys read also I know that y'all are busy and also lazy like me and not all of you are prone to creativity which I am also not which is why I'm telling you guys to do it but the intro would be really awesome if it had some music to underscore it and I am not a musical man, so if any of you would like to take the ball and run with it on that, you that would be, I think we all know how awesome that would be. So everyone in the vlog, I am giving you the ball. Taylor, I have not given up on your letter challenge. It's in the works. Uh, Melissa, as previously discussed, this is not actually part of the vlog, but your personal challenge in real life to me, uh, Halloween costume-wise, also, I have not given up. Catherine, I don't think I've ever seen you do anything that made me think that you were a conservative, so sorry if I offended you. That's something that's pretty conservative, being easily offended. But no, that's something pretty liberal too, I take it back. That's something that's very human. And also, you're the only one who didn't report in on your Occupy insert place here, so I'm kind of disappointed. I think 
Occupy Calaveras could be going very well right now if it weren't for you. You and your fascist, neoconservative, Christian agenda holding us back. Well, I've become a little rambly, and it's a beautiful Saturday day, so I'm going to go and frolic and uh, let you guys go. Guys, it's been a good first week. More on my punishment to come, and uh, Katie, I will see you tomorrow.